In this problem, we'll write the equation of the line that passes through point 0.15 and is parallel to the equation 3x minus y equals 2. So we're going to need two things. Let's go ahead and take a look. Since our answer will be in slope-intercept form, we're first going to need the slope, which we can write as m, and the y-intercept b in slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. Now, slope being m and y-intercept being b, there's not really any other information that it gives us other than a point that our new equation will go through. But since we know that we want an equation parallel to the existing equation, 3x minus y equals 2, we want the same slope in this equation as our new equation. So, how do we figure out the slope of our equation 3x minus y equals 2? Well, there's a couple ways we can do this. The first way is to rewrite that equation in slope-intercept form. Let's go ahead and do that. So there's the equation, and what we'll want to do is isolate the y on one side of the equal side. What this means is we're going to have to subtract 3x from both sides, like this. And that gives us this equation, uh, where the only problem with this not being complete is that the y value is negative. What that means is we could write a negative 1 there, giving us a coefficient of y, or a phantom negative 1, and uh, we're just going to need to divide all the terms by a negative 1. And that gives us this equation, y equals 3x minus 2. Well, since we've transformed this standard form, a linear equation, into slope-intercept form, we can see from this that it's in this format y equals mx plus b and since it is we can see right here that the slope is m right it would be y equals mx plus b and that minus two is not really important here let's go ahead and replace then our slope in the new equation alright so there's our new slope now the other way we could have done that was to just look at the a and b values from standard form which you can see here in the top right and if we want the slope all we need to do is take the negative value of a and divide it by b and we would get a negative 3 over negative 1 and I got those values again from this equation 3x minus y equals 2 so you can see 3 is a b is a negative 1 there and c is 2, not that we need it. So the slope, m, equals a negative 3 over negative 1, which actually would give us a positive 3. And that's what we got here anyways from this, changing it to slope-intercept form, and in our new equation. The next thing we're going to want to do is figure out the y-intercept of our new equation based on this point. There's a couple ways we can do that as well. Let's take a look. All right, so the first way we're going to do this is to take a look at point-slope form of a line. And this is a point-slope form of a line. Some of you have seen this a little bit differently where maybe your teacher will subtract y1 from here. But ultimately, we're going to end up adding y1 anyways. So I usually write and teach this this way in my classes. So we can go and replace the m with the slope is 3. And what else do we got here? We do have an x1 and y1 values from the point that it gave us, 1, 5. So the 1 is our x value, or the x1 value, and the 5 is the y1 value. So this is our point 1, if we were to graph it. And let's go and replace, then, this x1 and this y1. And there you go. We've replaced it with the values of the point that was given. The next thing we've got to do is simplify this, so we'll go ahead and distribute the 3. So distributing the 3 here to the x and the minus 1 gives us a 3x minus 3. Finally, the last thing we'll do is combine these two like terms, the constants negative 3 and 5, so we'll add those two together, and we'll get a positive 2 value there. And there we go, that is our final equation in slope-intercept form. So that technique involves using the point-slope form of a line, but we don't necessarily have to do that. 
Let's go ahead and look at the other way that we would do that, and that is to find the y-intercept as we had kind of written there at the beginning of the problem. To find the y-intercept, let's go ahead and take a look at slope-intercept form. So there we go, we're in the top right here, towards the middle right, and we'll go and replace the slope with 3. So the next thing we're going to do, again, we must use the point that it gave us, 1, 5, but I'm just going to replace them in this equation here the y and the x values with the given y and x values from the coordinate pair. And there we go, they've been replaced. Let's go ahead now and just solve for b. And there we have it. I've gone ahead and we can see 3 times 1 is 3. And subtracting 3 from both sides balances the equation out, but it cancels out the 3. So we end up with 2 equals b, which we could replace in the equation that we had started from the beginning. And since we've already found the equation, it's just kind of a way to effectively just kind of check our answer there. But that's about it right there. There's our answer in both places here. Alright, I hope you found this helpful. And thanks for watching.